Hello and welcome back to History of the World Let's Play. So last time we left off, um, the girls went to go get some more flowers and to go pick flowers for the laundry. Um, Duke is over here trying to get his uh, handiness skill up. And Dora is just taking care of herself because after she's done with that, it's actually Gid's birthday today. So let me show you. Wrong one. There we go. Okay. So today is actually Gid's birthday. So we're going to age him up when she's all done because he's also sleeping right now. So we're going to let him get some sleep. <clears throat> and we're going to go from there. So we're going to see if he ends. Oh, and actually if I got her baby moodlet back. So now she's pregnant. Well, she was pregnant before, but now it shows she's pregnant. And they're super sad. So I don't know if I really want them to get together to s at all. Because then it makes it very messy for me to figure out who is all who in that. And that makes it a little bit more harder to do. But we will go and see from there. Okay, so let her finish eating. He, he needs some fun. He needs some fun. Oh, and they also evolved a little bit. So we have a sink here, a countertop, a grill, and a fridge. Well, kind of like a cool box or whatever, but it's actually a fridge. Um, so they have evolved just a little bit. Um... We'll still probably use this too, especially if we don't, because this costs money, and I don't really want to have to, you know, spend money. But I think mostly I can get away with not spending money on it, because we can do for forger stew, fish on a stick. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we can do a couple of things here. And we're still playing. Oh, she's hungry and tired. Um, let's make you go take a nap until dinner is done, because dinner still has a little bit of time. How many more days do you grow up? We have five. Okay. Five days, and for the most part, we need... Okay. Not bad. Just a couple more skills. Okay, no. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and we're going to wake him up. Let him use his diaper. And she's going to come here. Okay, they're not dry yet. Okay. And then come over here and wake him up. There we go. And we're going to age him up. And we're going to find out if he will live or die. And actually for that, let's actually do this. So come over here. Okay, so for toddlers, he needs to avoid 6, 8, or 12. Okay. So let's see what we get. He got a seven. So if we go back to this, six, eight, and 12. He survived still. That is good, actually. We need him. He needs to carry on the legacy. Otherwise, we might not have another. We might have to try for a different. Um, one of the other households. Okay, so Gid has earned a bonus trait. See all of the bonus traits in Symology. Toddlers, day spent playing with toys, exploring the world and learning to communicate with words instead of tears await. This is the perfect time to start building skills for the future. So he is going to be 
fussy. Okay, not a problem. You're going to be fussy. Okay, let's go ahead and give him a makeover. Quirk revealed wanderer. Gids seems to always be running away. Toddlers who wander are wanderers are quick to run away after they're put down. Better keep an eye on them. Okay, you're going to be a runner. That is okay. So here he is before. And here is him after. And they're all pretty much the same. Outfits for all of them, except for his swimmer. He has... Just a diaper on instead. Okay, so he's a wanderer. Now we just gotta wait for her to finish having the baby, which she will be in probably about two days. And now since we have... Okay, you're back. So let's give you there. And then give you the bath. I'm pretty sure you need a bath. They all need baths. Okay, and he likes to wander, so we're gonna let him wander. Oh, he wants to go talk to his uncle. Where is his uncle? Um, let's have you do that for a little bit, and then we'll have you come here. Oh, okay, so. Um, we'll just have you knit. Oh, resume. Okay. And then... We'll have you grab the meal out. Have you come talk to your mom? And she's gonna take her nap while he acquired a thinking skill. Okay, so she wants to eat. You want to eat? Um. Okay, come eat. Come eat. Come eat. And you can come eat. Oh, and then you're gonna come eat. And then we'll have one of the adults put her back to sleep. Yes, she's going to end up needing to fertilize the bush again because she's just so, so pregnant. And third trimester in 24 hours, so about another two days. Sunday, maybe. Trusting the universe from top not straight. The world is a good place filled with good people. Get as happy to call some of them family. Aw. He likes everybody. Okay. Go eat. Okay. So what are you doing? Go throw away everything. Or clean it up actually. I think I might get rid of that. But keep those. Or at least keep this in this and get rid of that because we don't need that right this second okay so you're coming to eat that's good okay yeah. um, you know what I'm just gonna make him swing for a little bit just so he can have some fun in his life and you're getting tired, but you're not that tired yet. Can you finish anything? 
I'll we'll just have you do that. Then. Actually, no, we'll do that tomorrow. Okay, actually, I'll do that. Okay, anger management. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't want to do my, with, don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even do a workout? Talk it through with somebody. Talk it through. There we go. Okay. Oh, her motion control is gone. It's okay. We don't need emotional control when we're in prehistoric times. There's no reason for that. All right, so. Let's clean that up again. And then you're going to come here and go to sleep with your sister. When she's done, she's going to come and go to sleep as well. Okay, what does she have? From witnessing death of a friend. What's this one? No attention left from feeling hurt by someone nearby. Cozy's caregivers are so busy with their siblings, it feels like there's no attention left for her. That's to her mom. Bet you any money. Yes, ignored. So we got to make sure we spend some time with her tomorrow. Okay. You know, having babies in this thing is not always great. Oh, she is. Okay. And then we can eat. Okay. We're going to put you to bed. We'll finish that tomorrow and put you to bed. Um, you're gonna go to bed. Just put everything in everybody's inventory that it belongs in. Oh yeah, we need to change his aspiration real quick. And then we need to work on that. Because he's the new... Right now he's the head of the household. Just because they're not... Oh, this one, and then this... She's having a boy since we found that out. When we were playing with Bai, she couldn't, didn't have her mood lit. We found out that she was having a boy. <clears throat> so, we have at least two boys from the original heir, which was Craig. And he died suddenly for no apparent reason. There was really just no apparent reason for him. To even succumb to whatever he succumbed to. Alright, you go to sleep. And they all sleep in their own beds. And then we'll fast forward through the night. Because everybody should sleep for the night. So we need to do a family photo, which I'll do off of camera. Because we have... Okay, we'll just slow down for a second. Okay, so we have one more day of this year. And then 79,000 BS. So, that's a whole new thing. Because now we have other important things coming up. Um, there's a volcanic explosion that's coming up. Um, there's... We can end up with having more natural materials on the floors of the caves or the uh, huts. And I think we're going to end up building a hut for them instead of a cave. Because right now this is a replica of a cave that, you know, I kind of just used the bricks. But I think we're going to evolve them a little bit more into a hut. Because then there'll be more of a chance of them being able to leave. Okay, so yes, we have a couple of events, and there's also a drought coming up, 
where it's going to be super hot and no rain. And they're just going to end up being survival of the fittest. Who's going to not starve first? Because at that point in time, when it's the drought, we can only go foraging or whatever once every four days. So, because that'll be once a year. And that's going to make it a little bit more harder for us to survive because without food, we can't survive. So we're going to see who survives and who does not. Okay, let's just fast forward. Okay, that makes no sense. She's sleeping, she's playful, but she's inspired. Okay, Sims. That makes no sense. Okay, morning time. And you're going to grill for your stew. After you go to the bathroom. Oh yeah, we're looking more pregnant, aren't we? Yes, we're finally starting to look more pregnant. She's still a teen for six more days okay so we'll have a whole bunch of birthdays coming up because your birthday comes up too soon oh nope 18 days okay and you got 22 you're gonna grow up in five oh six days okay you grow up soon too four days yes that's good okay so Oh, she wants, nope, 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 you go here. And we'll, actually, nope. Your aunt will take care of you. Because she has nothing else to do but take care of the babies for her sister. Okay, go ahead and, ooh, no, 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 no. You want to grab a bowl. Okay, pick up sir. Why is this not selling? Uh, you know, I don't like it when it doesn't fully finish cooking and it says pick it up and you gotta go like that for every single person. That's how that works because for some odd reason. Yes, give her a bath. Okay, you need a bath next, but we'll wait for her to get done. See, look, you're getting attention. Okay, and then you can have a bath when you're done. And you don't need a bath this morning. Okay, and then we'll give you a bath and it'll work on you. Okay, so you can come. Just so stressed. All right, give your nephew a bath now. And then we'll take care of you. Okay. Uh huh. All right, eat. She's not hungry yet, but that's okay. It has some time. And she's giving you a bath. Ah, uh, resting. Okay, so let's let you do that. Then we'll do imagination.
Okay, not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have really felt hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Spend more time. Practice makes perfect. Um, focus on different topics. Okay. Yes. We know. Okay. All right. So let's work on you now. So go fertilize. Pick up your serving. You're going to teach him how to talk. Stories. I'll just go babble. And then you want to come over here. And do this for a while just to get your thinking skill up. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Your thinking skill. And then you're going to learn to talk. Yes. And you're going to... Let's sweat. Make... What a rush. The boost of adrenaline is making Bria feel amazing. Should she confirm... Firmly embrace what... With her astonishing sculpted arms that she likes with... Sure. Embrace it. Okay. So, you come here and put away laundry. Okay. You were supposed to pee like a champion and then take a bath. And you come here and put that laundry away and then you can go do laundry. Okay. We're going to put you here. New personality trait. Bria has enjoyed cleaning and doing household chores recently. That is a sparkle of joy when things are neat. Yes. Let's embrace it. That's actually kind of cool how, you know, they all get to. Um, go here and just do that for now. And we'll just keep you thinking over here for a little bit. And... Just come here first. Okay, you can do that afterwards. And then let's just play because there's really not much that we can do it as a girl to, um, child. We already went and picked our flowers. And then... His handiness skill is almost up there. Okay, and then can we teach him to talk? Oh, activities. That would be nice if I remember that out. Okay. You... Um, friendly activities, flashcards. Yes, we know, baby boy, you want to eat. So you're going to eat. Oh, no. First, we got to eat. Sorry, mama. You'll be okay for now. So, practicing until he's done. And then we'll teach him to talk. Okay, she's gaining some stuff there. Okay. Yeah. And then let's come here so you can eat. Oh, 
Alrighty then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Somebody was what? Quick quirk revealed. Gid is quite particular about his food. Picky eater toddlers are less likely to like their food and they're more likely to refuse it altogether, which can be a little messy. They're all they also won't eat on their own until they're very hungry. Aw, oh, that just Okay. That's a little out there. But that's okay. Very particular about his food. Awesome. Oh. Really? You barely ate it and you're full? That's just wrong. Okay, so. You need to get better at cooking, mama. Okay, activities teach to talk. Okay. So I think I'm going to leave it here for an... Oh, new family dynamic, strict. When it comes to Dora and Gid, a sense of order seems to abound as the younger Sim has a deep respect for the older family member, often meeting the older Sim's high expectations. For family members with a strict family dynamic, the older Sim will ask the younger Sim to do things like cleaning more, and the younger Sim will generally avoid rebelling, though through both might get more stressed overall. We, yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. All right, so we're going to leave it here for now. If you're enjoying my content of this please like comment and subscribe and have a nice day